will be that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you back what you have given. So forgiveness could be sought by asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness, by saying astaghfirullah al azim as much as we can. And when we say astaghfirullah al azim as much as we can, let's reflect upon the following. We, in our daily life, how many times we wish to use soap to wash our hands, to wash our faces, and to look clean. We need to say astaghfirullah, to get clean in our soul from the sins that we have committed. The more that you wash your hand, the more that you go and wash your hand and clean your, with soap, the more you look nice and bright in the eyes of people around you. And the more you cleanse yourself, not physically, but morally by saying astaghfirullah al azim seeking the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more your soul will be bright and the more you will be elated and the more you will be near to the forgiveness and to the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Saying it in every aspect, in every turn of our life is something that will reinforce our iman in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And however feeble our feeling about it, it will grow strong by the day. If it becomes a habit, but a habit, we say it not only by our tongues, but we reflect upon what we are saying. Can you stay a day without having a shower? Can you stay a day without washing your hands with soaps and getting all the dirts away? You cannot. And people around you will start looking at you and closing their noses. And the same applies to istighfar. If you make it a continuous habit, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your face bright and will make you likable to those around you because you have asked for his forgiveness. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us his forgiveness is limitless. It will not affect anything of that he has. In the Hadith Qudsi, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ayabn Adam, O son of Adam, O the child of Adam, if you come to me with the whole earth as sins, I will come to you with forgiveness. So why not to draw from the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And it all, it all cost us to ask Allah for forgiveness and we will be granted it by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you give if you do something good, whether giving your time, giving an advice, giving your wealth in the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah will give you a lot of forgiveness as he promised in the Quran. And if you feel sincere about the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will seek it and you will seek it knowing that you will be granted it. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam we have said in the hadith that this man felt so desperate that Allah will not forgive him. He felt that he has drawn enough from the forgiveness of Allah. But the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, Allah will give up only when you give up. But as long as you have trust in the forgiveness of Allah and you turn your face to him seeking his forgiveness, it will be given to you. And we need this more than any these days. These days are very tough days. Everywhere you go, you are looking at something that is considered a sin. If you go look at the TV, you cannot help but see something that is haram. If you go into the, on the net, you will see something that is haram. If you walk in the street, you will see people cursing and using very bad language that is haram. If you look at dealing with each other, you will see that many of us are committing sins that require constant forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we should, besides staying away from these bad habits, always seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the Prophet and his companions did. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum.
الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين There are an element or a principle in psychology that if you repeat a sentence many times then this sentence will transform your behavior you see people when psychologists for example when you are complaining to them about feeling low they will try to inspire you by steering you away from saying i am a loser to say i am a winner and before we know about psychology the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam guided us to seek forgiveness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you continuously say it with your lips it will reflect in your on your behavior it will reflect on dealing with others and the concept of forgiveness does not only extend to muslims it extends to all people forgiveness is a trait of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he endowed us with as a human being and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all sins as he told us in the Quran inna allaha yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a so all sins are forgiven if you turn your face to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask him for forgiveness he is ready to give you a chance another chance and one more chance more than you can expect and more than you have hoped for so this is concept of forgiveness we have seen it in the life of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam not only within the Muslim community but was extended beyond the Muslim community and many times people came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asking him for a favor and he would double it for them out of his nature because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala told him that one way to persuade people to tilt their mind towards you and to let them know that you are truly not someone who is keen on controlling them but who is keen on guiding them is to be forgiving and to show them the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reflected on, in your behavior and this is something that we need to propagate among the Muslim community and beyond the Muslim community in this society if we do this then we will lead a relaxed life because if you have grudges if you have a long list of problems with people then your life will be very miserable and it will never end having you will never end having problems with people as long as you are walking on this earth but if you forgive and if you are willing to make the list shorter and shorter your life will be more enjoyable <coughs> And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reciprocate by forgiving you for what you have done. And as such, you will lead a happy life on this earth and in the hereafter. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins. Allahumma jma'na ala ma yurdiq. Wahul baynana wa bayna ma'asiq. Waj'alna min al-mutahabbina feek. Allahumma la tada'a lana dhamban illa ghafartah. Wala hamman illa farrajtah. ولا عيبا إلا سترته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا غائبا إلا رددته ولا مريضا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته اللهم اشف مرضانا اللهم عاف مبتلانا اللهم ارحم موتانا اللهم اجعل الجنة مثواهم ومثوانا يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم أغننا بحلالك عن حرامك وبطاعتك عن معصيتك وبك عمن سواك اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من الفتن ما ظهر منها وما بطن ونعوذ بك من فتنة المال ومن فتنة المحيا والممات ومن فتنة المسيح الدجال اللهم وإذا أردت فتنة في قوم فتوفنا غير مفتونين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من أن نزل أو نزل أو نضل أو نضل أو نظلم أو نظلم أو نجهل أو يجهل علينا عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقم الصلاة